All right, so we're getting ready to finish up the aft spars on both wings. I'm just getting ready to place the aft spar on the left wing, and I've already finished the right wing. So I'll show you the right wing here in a second and some pictures, and then I'll do some video of getting the spar in place for the left wing. All right, so a quick tidbit here. On this one here, on this doubler plate right here, there's gotta be a hole cut. And one of the things I figured out after the last one was, remember, there's supposed to be no sharp corners. So the other one, I drilled the holes without the plate in place, but this one, I drilled the holes with the plate in all four corners so that when I run my Dremel tool there, I can just match up with the holes and it'll go a lot cleaner, I think, than the last one. So uh, I'll get a picture of how that looks once it's all done. And uh, that was just a little tidbit of a trick that I think I improved on. The second one's always going to look better than the first one. Now I intentionally cut it a little bit on the inside of the lines because I'll put this back on. Been working long days, so I put the tape on there to make sure that I don't, don't cut something I'm not supposed to cut. So the next step that I'll do, definitely advise getting a pair of spring-loaded pliers just because my hands are getting tired.
thing I'll do is I'll take the Dremel tool and I will soften up. I'll just actually use a sanding blade to take it nice and tight to the edges so it's a perfect cut. Use a block of wood, go up underneath, keep it off the uh, ground and give something solid to, to drill against. So I fold those back too so my block will go underneath it without hitting the, uh, the tips of the quitos. And that front support plate's done. Gonna mark the rest of the holes.